So I want to ask you, um, who were some of your influences, like let's say movie influences in regards to martial arts? Okay, actually I'd say the most prominent would be, for martial arts would be Jet Li movies. I really enjoyed his style throughout the movies. And like I talked, said previously about, um, you know, Hero, you know, and that was just such a beautiful movie. Um, but other people who influenced me growing up, because I did grow up as a performer, you know, um, I was just always in awe and very inspired by just just how performers just really touched people. You know what I mean? And that's how that's how we are as, as artists. You know, we, we meant we're meant to touch people and change people's lives. So especially seeing things live and feeling how audiences felt from a live performance and that that influenced me as well. So I love it, I love it. Mm -hmm. So I had read that you also like Jackie Chan. Can you talk about why? Well, because he was able able to add the comedy element. Mm hmm You know. Um, and I mean, he was just uh, very, he was full of charisma and it just, it was just very, very high energy and just everyone loved to watch him. You know what I mean? Everyone loved him. Yeah, I, I there love was no, There's Chan no one movies. that doesn't love Jackie Chan. His movies Chan. are awesome. He can jump <laughs> like, through ladders and jumping Yeah, off and, he's, and he's a good person too. Yep, like he's yep. a very good person. Um, you know, he, from what I've read of you know how he you know cares for wildlife and all philanthropic sorts of guy mm -hmm. yeah 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 so I got a segue it's important to be a good person too maybe. so they always <laughs> they always tell you in martial arts training to never use your martial arts training right like that's like at least when when I grew up doing a little bit of stuff not at the level you are they said hey only use it if you have to defend yourself have you ever had to use your martial arts training in the real world not like in a, a fight like that you got paid not, to do not that much because I'll tell you why um, and because I, I also teach a lot of self defense and combatives. Um, you never want to put yourself in that situation in the first place. You know, a true martial artist is never wanting to like show off their skill or like, <laughs> you know, first of all, concrete's unforgiving. You know, real life situations, they're, they just never go well. So the, I always tell people that I train, <laughs> first of all, be aware of your surroundings and don't, don't even end up in that situation. You know, if it is a real life street situation, the best thing to do is to get out of there. But you know, most people should be more empowered and know more of how to protect themselves if they're not able to. So I am, a, I'm a pretty calm person. I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm reclusive. I actually don't go out much at all. So <laughs> I probably don't even put myself in enough situations to yeah. like to ever- You're like a hermit. Yeah, I'm, arts I'm, hermit, I'm an artist, hermit. I'm an artist. You know, I'm if, if I'm not training, I'm <laughs> training more, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, you're always hustling. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, again, I'll really emphasize that just don't put yourself in those situations. <laughs> so real quick, while we're talking, I want my control room. Let's play, uh, show some photos of her in action while we're talking about this martial arts stuff because there's some really cool photos that I want to share. So on the screen, as you can see right there, we've got you boxing. boxing. Like, talk, talk to us about your MMA career. And like, I know that you're well, actually, um, starting up potentially. Yes. Talk, you know, tell I've, us about I've it. I've done a lot of jiu-jitsu tournaments. And, um, oh, I, you were a champion? Yes, I'm a okay, world, tell me. Um, a nogi world champion in jiu-jitsu, uh -huh. and I, you know, I've I've also been training my striking and like boxing and Muay Thai for a long time too. So, uh, my my coach and management is just is looking for, you know, the my first fight, my first professional fight. So, so jiu-jitsu world champion, you should say at the top of every rafter from the loudest decibel <laughs> level possible. Not not so quiet. You're so like. Uh, you know, so humble, I love it. But at the same time, I mean, you are a badass. Oh, thank you. So yeah. you're gonna be fighting potentially in, in the octagon, potentially where, like, we don't know. It's well, I'm waiting, it's, there, it's, there, it's was a, there was a venue in March and, you know, um, you know, it's, it's, there's, there's not as many girls as there is guys. So it's, it's a little bit harder to find the right, the uh -huh. right matchup. And so, uh, but of course, I'll let everyone know of who follows me of when it's gonna be, so. Mm -hmm. So, but that's also why I'm not posting right right now. I'm not. It's posting kind of a secret right now, but this is the vault, yeah. and this is where all the secrets live, secrets. right? So you're you're in a safe space. I'm in a safe space. <laughs> um, you know, let's talk about. I, I love seeing how um, you know on your social media you have photos of you literally like the only person in the gym, the only female, where you're up against like. 10 guys, you know, training oh, yeah. at all hours. Tell us about how, you, that's almost like a family environment, right? It is a family environment. I love my teammates. Everyone's really supportive. Um, there, there are other girls, of course, there's, there's girls out there also doing There's just not as many. So, um, you know, it's usually only like one or two per gym if there are, you know, females, but it's, it's, it's building up more and more now. But as far as the gyms I train at, I love them. It, they're tough, they're tough places to train at, you know, everyone's almost as professional and 
and uh, I, I love the environment so, I get to train in. So I didn't tell you this, but I have two, you know, you do know I have two daughters, uh, seven oh, okay. and ten years old, and I told them that you were my guest today, and uh -huh. I showed them some of these videos, and <laughs> I just love having strong female influencers out there yeah. who can be a role model to my kids. And you know, my daughters, I don't know if they want to be an MMA fighter, but they love like the superhero genre, Wonder Woman, and um, you know, my mm -hmm. older daughter wants to be president. So <laughs> yeah. you know, I think that that's great, that you yeah. are also, by de fact, you know, a, a role model. Oh, thank you. I mean, even the yeah. video game stuff, I grew up, I mean, I remember playing Mortal Kombat with my brothers, you know, like in the, in the summer. And, and I remember saying out loud, when I grow up, I want to be one of them. And what are the odds that I'm like, doing, you and know, in, you in video games? <laughs> yeah, you know, so it, it can happen. It's not out of this world.